Hi again, everybody. It's David Fry, and I'm here with one of the world's great dog people. Not just dog show people, but one of the world's great dog people. My good friend, Dr. John Reeve Newson from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hi, John. Nice to have you with us. Yeah, good to be with you. Thank you. It's great to have you on the panel, too. The reason bringing us all together, but it's always nice to have an excuse to chat with you somewhere at a dog show, usually, but um, in the real world as well. You do great things for our dogs and great things for the sport. So thank yeah, you. You're a very fitting addition to this to this uh, compact panel of 133 judges. My God. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been on a panel that large? Only in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. So where they have 400 breeds probably. Yes. Yeah. All looking but, the same anyway. How are you holding up through all of this? Well, it's a bit trying, but you know, you just have to deal with it as best you can and try to keep the sense of humor. And it's like being an observer, actually, of what it is. And it's easy to judge from outside the ring. And I've never done it before. So I think a lot of depend is going to depend on how the dogs are photographed and visual. And, you know, I'm very much a movement and expression kind of judge. So it'll be I'm just looking forward with some anxiety to see how this comes across in the virtual dog show. I have no experience with it at all. Yeah. You have to be counting on the handlers, I would think, because you're not going to be able to put your hands on the dogs to see the things that you normally look for. You're, you're putting it into in the handlers to show you those things. It is. And as we all know, <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some handlers are very clever at showing you what they want you to see or what they think you should see. Yeah. So, well, and, and but now, would, you know, this isn't our first rodeo, David. So. <laughs> I know, I know. I've known you a long time, John. Yeah, but trying to fool uh, me anyway. That's what I'm trying to talk about. <laughs> well, at least you're aware of that. Uh, it, um, it, it's, it's something that people now with video, you know, you don't have to say, can I do that again? to the judge, or can I go down and back again? I, my dog wasn't, was shaking in the middle of it or, or did something. You can edit all that stuff out and probably bring you a pretty good video if you work I hard enough. So, yeah, I'm looking, and I was really happy that Tara asked me to partake in it. So I think it's, uh, well, you've got I'm a great really eye. looking forward to it. Yeah, you've got a great eye for a dog. So uh, that's a starting point, certainly, with virtual judging is because you're only doing it with your eyes. Exactly. And uh, candidly, I think a lot of, I'm not what I call a uh, massage therapist judge anyway. <laughs> if you have a good eye, I can tell you pretty well everything. Yeah. yeah. Or certainly tell you a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm thrilled you're a part of the show. I mean, you've been a part of the dog show world for so long. Uh, oh. you have, as an <laughs> exhibitor, as a breeder, handler, That's owner. A, uh, late 60s, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's about when I started in it too. Yeah. Um, so, so you know all these things that are going on. You know what the handler's feeling like. You know what the what the judge feels like. So, um, it's so important for us to keep this celebration of our dogs alive and keep uh, bringing our people and our friends back into our circle. Yeah, exactly. And I feel badly for a lot of people that, well, like especially for Montgomery, which just got canceled. And yeah. you know, if you're a terrier lover as well, like I am, you've been working for months to get your dog prepared and get the coat prepared and everything. And you look forward to this great exhibit of terriers and it's gone. You know, so. Yeah, we were just talking with Connie Clark and uh, we talked about, you know, how the terrier people have to work so hard year round, just yeah. pointing at a particular date. Yeah. And that, it especially affects them. Mm -hmm. but of course, we've uh, the pandemic with all the cancellation of dog shows has affected other people who make their living. I have two little dogs as pets, and I must say they've been a life salvation actually during this time. Yeah. What do you have? What breeds? Norwich Terriers. Norwich, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's yeah. quite different from, uh, for those of you who may not know, that, uh, that John and his uh, lifelong late partner, uh, Richard Mean, uh, had the top dog all breeds in Canada a number of years, right? But es Many years, especially yeah. Borzois, yeah. Borzois and Sky Terriers, too. Yeah, and Skies, that's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, um, you know, and you take them for a walk, it gets you up, gets you out. And uh, I think for a lot of people, it's been a great emotional support. And I'm sure all dog lovers must feel the same way. Well, the American Heart Association, of course, who is the, the sponsor and the presenter of our dog show, um, mm -hmm. uh, the, Ameri the International uh, Heart, so Heart Classic uh, Virtual Dog Show. We're making yeah. history here. It's the first one ever. And, uh, and so the AHA is involved in it. They are a great proponent of, of what dogs do for our health on a daily basis, just making us smile. Oh, you know, I, feel good. I think it's been proven actually that, you know, if you have a dog, you're going to live longer. Tell me what people need to show to you when they, when they come in, in your ring virtually, what are you looking for? Uh, presentation, good grooming, uh, style, and uh, elegance. Yeah. All breeds I think have an ingrained elegance to them as well as their own breed type. And uh, style says a lot of, for the particular breed. I mean, all dogs have their own style, but I like good presentation and I'm kind of a movement freak as well. Yeah. That's nicely said. Yeah. Um, when, uh, when they're in your ring, we talk about, I talk about all the time on television that the best handlers are invisible. They're yeah. not going to be invisible yeah. now because they've got to be a big part of the judging process, showing you breed traits and strong points and things that they, that you want to see and that they think needs to be shown. Just don't get in the way of the dog and don't overhandle her. You know, a lot of dogs can, if you leave them alone, they can often do it themselves. It's nice that we have something we can do. It's nice that the technology allows us to create a dog show. Well, I think it's wonderful because my concern like yours is if this goes on for too long and the shows keep getting canceled, like all the big ones like Montgomery and others, it, it, people are gonna just say, oh, forget it, you know, let it go. But it's been a, such a wonderful part of my life for so many years, I just hate to see it disappear or dissipate, I should say. Yeah, well, thanks to the American Heart Association, we're, we're um, trying to keep that alive for now, certainly. Uh, the, the Canine Health Foundation is one of the beneficiaries of what we're doing as well. Okay. And um, so between AHA and CHF, we're there for that. The Canine Chronicle is being very supportive of the show as well, mm -hmm. and Purina. Um, so we've got, the, we've got all the major players, and with a panel of 133 uh, judges, um, we think we're getting a lot of people involved in sharing this great celebration of the dogs in our lives. Yeah, I think it's a wonderful idea. And to have it tied in, I think, because I'm such a great believer that having a dog and a pet does so much for your health and for the, your heart, actually, in more, in not only emotionally, but it gets your ass out of bed. You have to walk the dog, etc. <laughs> it's good for the exercise. 5.45 this morning for me and True, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was six. I just kind of slept in. But... <laughs> we slept until six. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> so, uh, it's a wonderful tie-in. I think whoever thought of it, it's brilliant. Brilliant. My hat's off to them. Yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, th we'll, share the, we'll share that praise with, with uh, Tara and, and the AHA people um, for bringing this all, all to, to be. So yeah. and we're thrilled you're a part of it, John. I can't think of anybody better to have in helping us uh, promote the sport, promote dogs in our world and in our lives than you. So yeah. Dr. John yeah. Reeve Newson, yeah. thank you so Bye. much. I look yeah. forward to seeing you somewhere <laughs> down the line. <laughs> well, hopefully, maybe, in, who knows? I don't count on anything anymore except tomorrow. <laughs> well, well, we're doing what we can. Say a little prayer, be safe. Be well. David. Take care. Be well. Always good to see you, John. You too. Thank you. Thank you.